Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys, Viper here, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. I hope you guys are doing well, and if you are enjoying the content at the moment, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like on the video. Today, EA dropped Medina, another league earned special card in SBCs. Obviously, first of all, he's quite expensive. He's going to cost you an 86 rated squad with 75 chemistry and an 85 rated squad with, I want to say 75 chemistry as well. It might be 65 for the 86 and 75 for the 85. Now, of course, league earned, he's from Lens, which means he gets a lot of good strong links. Now, we actually have one of the strong links. Obviously, we've got Fofana's headliner in the in the team there. Now, if you've got, and I imagine a lot of you guys do, have this uh, Inform or the Headliner Klaus, you've got some good links there. As you can see right there, you can get him on full chem by linking Fofana and Klaus to him. Obviously, being Argentinian as well, that's a lot of good links there too. Looks to be a good card. Whether or not he's worth the price is obviously something I'm going to be looking at. Lots of great centre-backs in Ligue 1 at the moment with, you know, you've got your Ramos, you've got Timmy and Marquinhos or any of the other Marquinhoses. We've also got Road to the Final, Kim Pembe. Even though PSG are knocked out, that card is still good. It's going to be important to try out <clears throat> how good this card is in game. Now, let's have a look at the stats. Now, he's six foot, which means what, what I sense from that is that he's going to have really good agility and balance, which is going to be important. Now, he's left footed as well. Medium, medium work rates. Le uh, two star skills and a two star weak foot. Being left footed is quite nice as well, as there's not too many left footed centre backs in League Earn. Uh, in my experience anyway, other than Kimpembe. 87 pace, 79 dribbling, 77 passing, 90 defending, and 87 physical. Also to touch on as well, Lens will probably get a few upgrades. This card and this player, Medina, does play for Lens. So he is likely to get the appearance upgrade. Don't know if he's likely to get the clean sheet upgrade, but obviously Lens have had a few very good players this year with Klaus and Fofana in real life performing really well. Fofana has been touted to get a move. So, they have a few good players. Now, let's have a look at the attributes. Okay. This is interesting. He's got 80 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. 73 vision with 91 short pass and 73 long pass. Agility is at 74, balance at 80. Reaction is at 86, ball control at 82. Composure is low at 82, which is a bit of a worry for me personally. Inceptions up at 91, heading accuracy at 82. 90 defensive awareness, 91 stand tackle, and 88 slide tackle. Okay, jumping at 82. Stamina is at 81. Strength at 90 and aggression at 87. Straight away, with that acceleration that he's got, it's going to be very, very, very important that you apply a shadow. Now, acceleration on centre-backs is very important. That's why I don't like Van Dijk on this game. Really, really low acceleration, really high sprint speed. Now, if you do have that, it's going to cause you issues, you know. Acceleration is more important in the in the short, you know, when you're getting counter-attacked. Having him accelerate quickly is more important than him sprinting quickly over time. So getting that acceleration up is going to be really important. 90 acceleration now with 99 sprint speed. He's got 99 interceptions, 87 heading accuracy, 95 defensive awareness, 99 stand tackle, and 99 slide tackle. So it's a really, really nice upgrade to him, and he's likely to get a few upgrades. So... You know, whilst it might be a bit slow and the composure might be a bit low and the reactions might be a little bit low for what you're after, it's still a good card. It's not better than Ramos. Definitely not. But it's still got potential for upgrades as well. So you've got to take that into account. Looks to be a good card. What we're going to do is we're actually going to play 45 minutes live and I'll just bring you back some highlights after that. So let's get into some gameplay. All right, guys. So I've been searching for a game for a fair while there. So I'm only going to play one game of him. Maybe two if this guy rage quits quickly. We're just going to let him come on to us and just defend with Medina. See how he defends, see what his jockeying's like. Obviously, as I said, his composure is a bit low, which could be an issue. I'm hoping it won't be, um, but you do never know, you know. So, fingers crossed. And with a few upgrades, that composure goes up a little bit. Depends what EA are going to actually do for the upgrades. Um, they could do nothing to them and not really upgrade them at all, uh, which would be silly. Is this guy giving a free win, is he? No. But we're 1-0 up anyway. Good stuff. Good start. Really good start. Right. 
So now what we're going to do, we're going to let this guy attack us. We are 4-0. Oh, um, so the, the opponent should be decent. Now I'm bringing him forward a little bit here, which is a bit stupid. I'm not in the right formation either. Now let's just see what his jockey... His jockey feels quite quick and nice. Um, it's obviously a great start. I should be playing him on the left-hand side, really, too. Nice. Good. Okay. If he's able to stick in, st stick feet in like that, and his, his feet in like that, that would be nice. He is actually playing on this side, too. All right, guys. We're back. He's back. He's playing a bit weird. Um, but, yeah, I've just had a look at uh, Medina's next five games. He's got Strasbourg in there. He's got PSG in there. He's got Nice in there as well, I think. They've got a few difficult games. Um, so keeping a clean sheet might be a bit of an issue. But fingers crossed with a bit of luck. I do like his jockeying though, to be fair. I think his jockeying is really, really nice. Back on him here. You can see, you know, I'm controlling him. I'm trying to control him as much as I can. I'm about giving up any opportunities. And you can just, you can, oh my, how has Sterling won that header? Interesting, right. Back into him there. His passing feels quite nice. Uh, decent, anyway. His first touch is nice for a centre-back. And, you know, I, I'm a big fan of ball-playing centre-backs. If you watch my tactics video from yesterday, you'll know that. Having ball-playing centre-backs is really, really important to me. And this is another one, you know. EA have really juiced up centre-backs this year. To a point where it's, they, they, are, they are just ridiculous. Um, so, having that kind of quality at centre-back constantly on all these players is is really really nice you know um i'm just gonna let this guy come on to us a little bit you know and is he gonna be better than ramos i would say no but you know at the same time he's still a competitor to ramos is he better than marquinhos early doors i'd probably say yeah and uh, obviously not marquinhos's team of the year but marquinhos has got a lot of cards this year and that's the thing i really like about these kind of center backs that we've been getting is you just saw there the ability to actually drive out with Medina. Um, and whilst a lot of people don't really consider that to be a thing on FIFA, I promise you it is. Um, and having that driving ability is really, really nice. And he has it. You know, that, that goal was made by him driving out. Okay, so Calvert-Lewin's out strength in there. That's, that's pretty fair. Ramos, good jockey in there too. And I think what you're getting with this card is basically... You know, a, a Ramos that doesn't have skills, nor, um, well, not nor anything else really. He is just Ramos that's, you know, a bit less on everything and doesn't have the five star skills with the opportunity to get upgraded to be better than Ramos. Um, you know, skill moves on centre backs just don't matter um, regardless. So let's see if he can catch up here. I do like his jockeying. He messed up. I messed up with him a little bit there, and he jockeyed so quick back into position. Really, really nice, in fact. Um, and whilst, you know, with centre backs, it's really, really, really easy to tell early, from my experience anyway. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want to brag or anything like that. Oh, dear. Um, but obviously, coming from the professional scene, it's very easy to tell if centre backs are good quite quickly. Um, and it's not me trying to brag or anything. That's just, you know, the fact of the matter. And I think this card can compete. Whether or not it's worth that 86 and 80, uh, 85 rated squad is another question entirely. I would probably say if you've got like the Ramos and stuff, probably not. Um, I, I still think that Zakaria is the best centre back on the game. So if you have him and he's a free card. Oh my God, I've read of that. It's poor. Uh, you know, Fofana as well, even his player of the month can play at centre-back. Um, so you've got lots of opportunities to link him as well. It's just a case of if he is able to compete with the likes of Marquinhos, and I think he can. I'd like his jockeying. He jockeys very fast, faster than Ramos, and which is a massive positive. Having the quick jockey speed is one of the most important things on centre-backs. Unless they've got, like, super-duper strength, aggression, pace, and a good body type. Now... From what I can see, Medina doesn't have the best body type. Now, that could be an issue for you. Um, I personally haven't felt that yet. Oh, my God, David. He sent that into orbit. So, you know, it's kind of down to preference at that point if if you think he's going to feel a bit dodgy strength-wise because of his body type. 
I certainly haven't felt that, but you know, he is also six foot, which is small for a centre back. Um, so these are all things to take into consideration for yourself. But what I can say early doors is as a ball playing centre back, he's very good. Uh, if it was nice on the ball, which is not something that happens too much on centre backs, you know, I kind of trust him to play the ball out. As you can see there, he's got the, definitely the ball playing abilities that you need. And uh, whilst this game hasn't been that tough, you can still tell, you know. Um, and I'm I'm a fan so far. I absolutely am. And his links are so, so good as well. It's easy for Medina, Medina here. No, it isn't. Good defending though from Ramos. And you could put together probably, you know, if you wanted to... I think you could argue that Lee Gohan has the best 11 players in the game this year. Um, or the best, you know, single league side. Um, and, and, and this card would be part of that, I think. Or it would be very, very close. You know, who have you got? Marquinhos and Ramos. And then you've got Kimpembe. I would say this card's better than Kimpembe. Um, but, you know, that's up for interpretation. Nice, Medina. He's so quick, guys. Look at that as well. He's so quick off the mark, which is quite nice. You know, with the acceleration boost we've given him, he is very, very solid. Look at that tackle. Oh, my God. All right, guys. So, review on Medina done. I will say, straight off the bat, he is not better than Ramos. He's not better than Team of the Year Marquinhos. He's arguably not better than Kimpembe's Road to the Final. What I will say, though, instead of Kimpembe's road to the final, this card offers a lot more ball-playing abilities, which I value higher than, you know, the, the general strength and defending and the body type. So I would personally pick Medina over somebody like Kimpembe, not over Ramos, not over Marquinhos, team of the year. Uh, I think he's a, good, he's a good option. What I will say is the links are great for this card as well if you're trying to hybridize your teams. That might make him valuable for you there alone. Uh, he's got a decent opportunity at upgrades. Not the biggest opportunity, you know. He's got a few difficult games coming up. But he should still be able to keep a clean sheet in one of them. And he should get the free appearances. Which means he's at least going to get a plus one. Maybe up to, you know, 89 pace, 81 dribbling. That kind of stuff. But it just depends on how EA are going to upgrade them. Unfortunately, we don't know that. EA won't tell us that. Uh, which will kind of, you know, it's kind of difficult to know how they are going to upgrade the cards. But I will say it also, this card is decent. Um, you know, the shadow on him is very, very important to get that acceleration up. And you could feel how quick he was in game with the fast jockeying, the good, solid tackling, which is really, really important on defenders because you don't get that all the time on certain defenders. I would honestly say with somebody like Marquinhos, you don't really get the solid tackles like you do with certain other cards like a Kimpembe, like this card and a few others. Really like his strength and aggression combo too. Only issue is he is a little bit weak in the air. If you come up against Cristiano Ronaldo, even the gold Cristiano Ronaldo, there's a chance he's going to out-jump this Medina card. But what he offers instead of you know being that good in the air is great ball-playing abilities. And he is really, really nice on the ball. So if you do value that, this card is for you. Um, he's, he, whilst his vision is low at 73, his passing generally was really nice. And as I said... The biggest thing about this card is the nice jockeying because of the agility of balance. And the general ball playing abilities on him is really nice. Now, if you do come under a lot of pressure in a game, his composure is going to let you down. So, you know, when you're under a lot of pressure and somebody's press after possession loss on you, or, you know, you're just under the cost quite a lot. If you've got the ball with this card, or you're just defending and jockeying with this card, he might not make tackles correctly, which could be an issue. I personally like this card. I don't really think for the general population of FIFA, this card is worth it. Um, he is too expensive for what he is. He offers good links. He's decent in game. But I think for the general population of FIFA, you're better off sticking with your Ramos and your Varane. Um, unless you're going for a full league inside or something like that. You know, this card is decent, just not the best. Let's go over his stats and rate them out of 10. Pace, I'm going to give with the shadow applied, I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. Decent pace-wise, but, you know, there are players that are quicker than him. Varan feels a lot quicker. Um, I think that's because he's taller as well. Obviously, this card's only six foot, so Varan covers more, more distance more quickly with his long legs as well. 
Passing for a centre back, I'm going to give a seven and a half out of ten again. Really like his passing. He's very, very decent here. Agility, balance, and dribbling wise, you've got to rate him highly here. But he's brought down by the composure, so it's going to be a seven out of ten. Unfortunately, again here, we're going for sevens really because that's how I feel the kind of card is. He's he's a bit above average, but I still think somebody like Ramos or Baran is just considerably better, you know. But he is good in the dribbling department. Really quick jockeying, really nice on the ball. And really, really confident bringing the ball out as long as you're not under the, a lot of pressure. Very, very confident on the ball with him, which is nice to have. Defending is going to be an 8 out of 10. Strong tackles, good slide tackles, really strong R1 uh, stand tackles as well. Like him here a lot. He, you can trust him to tackle and the ball sticks to him. Or we'll go back to one of your players, which is obviously really, really nice and highly valuable on this game. And physical is really good. I like his strength and aggression combo. It's unfortunate that you're not allowed to really get his aggression up due to the fact you really need to boost that acceleration. But his jumping does let him down here, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 again. Aggression and strength is good on a card like this. You know, that agility and balance and that general dribbling on a centre-back, having that strength and aggression is really nice. So a 7 out of 10 is probably fair for him here. I think he's a good card, guys, as I've said. Good card for the league and potential of a few upgrades. Probably one, if we're being realistic, though. Good card, bit expensive. 7 out of 10 rating from me, guys. If you want him, you know, if you don't have the Varane or you don't have the Ramos, if you don't have the Ramos, I think this card's good for you. If you do have the Ramos, though, avoid this card. And, you know, good for people that didn't pick up that card, basically. Guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. But, guys, it's going to be it from me for now, so take care.